Okay, so we are back today with a product battle from the brand new set, Silver Tempest. We're putting the ETB up against three triple blisters. We are going to be comparing value for money as well as which one gives us the all important hit. Well, if any hit says. Now there is only one way to tell which one comes out on top though. Let's rip into it. All right, guys, so we are, of course, going to crack open these packs in just a sec. First of all, let's do the value for money. So in ETB, you're going to get eight booster packs. You're going to get a bunch of sleeves. You're going to get dividers, and you are going to get dice and damage counters. And they're going to cost you about £40. The triple blisters, on the other hand, if you buy three of them, you're going to get nine booster packs, three promo cards, and three coins. And they're going to cost you £12.99 each, so just under £39. So don't get me wrong, guys, I do love an ETB, and I do tend to buy one when a new set comes out. But if you are purely looking for value for money and you just want to open booster packs, but you can't quite afford a booster box, which is the best value for money if you purely want to open packs, then you need to be going for the blisters. You pay a pound less and you get one extra booster pack. For me, it's a no-brainer, so I'm going to give the win here to the blister packs. All right, so let's go ETB first. Now, why open this up? The chase cards that I'm after when it comes to this product has got to be the Alt Arts, in particular the Lugia. Or if we can get the Rayquaza VMAX from the Trainer Gallery as well, that would be an awesome hit. All right, so you get your dividers in here, another V Star token. We get our sleeves, code card, yay! Energy cards, damage counters and dice, like the, tur the uh, color on these, nice little turquoise effect. And the eight booster packs. Right, how are we hoping to go on with this? Like, it would be awesome. Do you know what? I've seen a lot of people already pulling the Alt Art Lugia from the set. I've not seen many people get that Ray Quasar VMAX from Trainer Gallery. So that would be one I would love to get my hands on today. But will it happen? The artwork. Oh, look at that Fennekin. That's a nice artwork. It's looking... Oh, we got Trainer Gallery straight off the bat, guys. Followed by an Among Us. But we will take that Flaffy. All right, pack number two. How are we going to get on with this one? Right. I wonder how we will actually do with hits. It'd be funny. Like, I normally like slate ETBs for, like, pull rates and stuff. Because they have been pretty bad from latest sets. But you never know. There's always a chance, isn't there? You know, they're not set. Oh, this Pikachu artwork, by the way, guys, is incredible. And bear in mind, look, it's literally just a common, but it's so nice. Ponyta. Mistrevious! Ah, oh, clink, clink. Alright, we got the Lugia Packer, and it is so good to be seeing this Lugia. This could end up being a massive card, I think, in the future. Do you reckon it could potentially be, like, a future Moonbrun? Do you think the price of this could rise, like the Moonbrun price has gone up? Don't know, let me know, what do you think? Alright, Volpix looking sassy as hell, by the way. Molga Chinchow. Bunnery. Nine Tails Reverse, very nice looking card, and an Arcanine. The double fire. Alright, so far not so good if we're honest, guys. We've got just the one hit, and it wasn't even a hollow. It was in the trainer gallery slot. So we've obviously had all white code cards up until this point. Can we get something big out of this ETB? I've got high hopes for the triple blisters, though. I reckon we'll get something from them. Right, Smiggle, Litten. What the hell? Look at the face on that. We have an Anarif and a Noivern. Halfway through one trainer gallery so far. Right, come on. Let's get one of these beautiful ones. Uh, they are stunning. Like, do you know what? It's it's a bit of a shame. I was talking to some people about this before, but we probably won't see all tarts are when it comes to Scarlet and Violet for a while because every time Pokemon release a new set, they seem to like hit the reset button, don't they? When it comes to a new era and it goes back to basics. So we probably aren't going to see all tarts again for a few sets, which is a shame because I do love them. But I'm no doubt we are going to see some new things though. Right, let's get into this. How are we getting on? Right, low punny. Marnie, uh, why did I say Marnie? Swablu, Swirlix, Rotom, Bunnery, and a Reggie Lecky V. All right, next up, the Alonan Vulpix pack. Come on, let's get something good. Let's get some heat. I really, really want to see an alt art. I really do. Uh, I'm actually doing a double booster box opening tomorrow night live we are hoping for all tarts in that as well so make sure by the way to hit that subscribe button and ring that alert bell so you don't miss that stream it's going to be good fun i'll probably get some stuff away so make sure to tune in tomorrow do it hit that subscribe button right rolls fletchling dratini clink dratini reverse and okay oh this is one of the new v-star 
hollow trainer cards. It's pretty cool. I do think, though, I've seen some errors with this card where it's actually bigger than others. That one actually seems all right, but I've seen a couple of people get these, and it's like that slightly bigger cut. All right, two packs left from the ETB, and uh, hmm... So far, we've got the free hit. So, you know, we can end up getting a one in two, which is a pretty good ratio. It's just we haven't got any of the big cards so far, have we? Can we get something, though? Rapidash Reverse, okay, and a Frostlass. All right, last pack magic from the ETB. Can we do it? Can we actually finish this ETB with a banger to put it right up there? and uh, beat the blisters when it comes to pull rates. I know pull rates are all random with these products, but it's always good fun to do it, right? Mistrevious, Walimar, Murkrow, Amolga, Meditite. Okay, no trainer gallery. Are we gonna finish with a bang? <gasps> huh? No way! Shut up! We actually got something, guys. We got the alternate art unknown. Get in, come on. Look at that as well. It is looking really top. That is clean. What? Oh my God. I was preparing to edit that and add a fart noise over that last card, but well, no. All right, now guys, just before we get into the triple blisters, if you are still looking to get hold of some Silver Tempest, then look no further than my website, evocards.co.uk. We still have a bit of this in stock, some booster box, triple blisters, ETB. So if you want to support the channel, an amazing way to do that, guys, is by buying off of my site, evocards.co.uk. I'll also put a link in the description. All right, guys, it is triple blister time. Let's get them open. All right, guys, so you obviously get the Pikachu coin in there. We got three of those. We have three different code cards there, so enjoy them. We have the Togetic promo, which I think is my favorite of the two. And then the Manaphy. And then, of course, nine booster packs. These have got some way to go to beating that ETB pool. I still can't believe we got an auto art from an ETB. Right, pack number one. This is actually going insane. And at this point, actually, I have a question for you. If you could pick to buy either an ETB or free triple blisters, which one are you going for? Is it the blisters? Ignore the fact that I got a big hit there, really. Which one is the one you're going to go for? Right. Let's see if we can get something. Oh, my God. That Jinx artwork. What? Right. Spinarak, Fennekin, Feebas, Chinchow, Fletchling, and Dragpult. All right, we are gonna fly through these now. We're gonna do no card trick on these now. We're gonna just see how we get on. Let's get to the hits. Dratini and Lilligan. Next up, Volpix. So far, this is not a great start, is it? I wasn't gonna bother with the card trick, was I? This is not a very good start for triple blisters. We have got just the, oh! Let's go! The Jinx Trainer Gat. I love this artwork. I think it is so cool. Um, really, really happy with that. And it was a talent flame behind it. So far, okay. This is this has been a really, really good opening. I'm actually really happy with how it's gone. Can we do any better? Can we get another trainer gat? No trainer gallery. You're kidding me! You are kidding me. What is happening? Oh my. Wow, like, guys, like, the, oh, God, what the hell? Oh my God, that centering is great on there as well. That. Whew. Now, before I open any more packs, guys, I need to tell you about a box break that I'm doing next Wednesday on Whatnot. She she that's right, guys. I'm going to be breaking open this Neo Discovery Booster Box live on Whatnot next Wednesday, the 16th of November, 7 p.m. UK time. We are going to be hunting some incredible hollows like the Tyranitar, the Espion, and of course, the Umbreon. Every single pack from this break is going to start an auction from just one pound each. And on top of this, guys, every single hollow 
pulled from this box is also going to be graded at PSA completely free of charge courtesy of Trust Grading, a UK PSA middleman service. And I'm extremely grateful to you guys for reaching out to me. I think it's so cool that we're going to get to grade this car. So massive thank you to Trust Grading for that. Now, if that wasn't enough, guys, I'm also going to be giving away a ton of Silver Tempest during that stream as well as a way to just celebrate the fact Whatnot is now over here in the UK and that I am a UK Whatnot partner. So if you do not want to miss this event and you want to come and get involved, maybe we Win some stuff, buy some packs, or just see how we got on with those hits, then make sure to get the WhatNot app downloaded and then go and give me a follow and make sure to bookmark that stream or head to the pinned comment down below, guys. And I will see you there Wednesday, 16th of November, 7 p.m. on WhatNot. Okay, guys, so this is going extremely well. I don't think I've had an opening like this on the channel for a long time. I am so loving it. Like, oh my God, right? two like essentially secret rares in uh well we didn't get anything in this one did we but what's going on we still have four packs left as well there is still chances for more stuff i've done the card trick on this one never mind but we still have more chances for hits can we get any more like i'm already happy with this spot opening but you never trainer gallery guard of all look There goes my bulk. Anyway, and unknown V to go with the alt art unknown. That I don't know if you noticed, guys. I did pull the alt art unknown V. Guys, these blisters are flying along, are they not? Like this is insane. The amount of hits we've managed to get out of these blisters so far. Well impressed, to be honest. Can we top it off and get anything else? This would just be absolutely nuts. Spinder Rolts. We have an Altaria and a Reshiram V. More hits, guys. All right, two packs left to go. And oh, oh, this is really tricky to work out which one I think has actually done better for the pulls for us. I think I'm going to give it to the Blisters because a Lugia V-Star gold card. Like, come on. You know, two alter. We've got two trainer galleries so far. Two. It's going to be going to the Blisters, I think, for me so far. Can we get... We got more, guys. We already pulled this. We, of course, got it in the ETB. But more. Like, what? And a drag... Another hit. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This is going well. Okay. So, we have the last pack from the blisters. I'll, I'll run through the pulls at the very end so you guys can see exactly how the ratios went and what we managed to get out of each product. But... Can we finish with one final battle? Imagine the all art Lugia just pops up at the end as well. I'd be like, Pfft. I don't know. I'd probably collapse or something. Like, I literally would. Right. Can we get something? No, we got the Curlier. Okay, here we go. No. Okay, guys. So, first up, let's go through the ETB hits. We obviously got the Hollow V Star Trainer. We got the Reggie Lecky V, a Flaffy Trainer Gallery, and. An all art unknown V. Very happy with the ETV pool. But the blisters were not to be beaten. We got two of the drag pole hollows. We got the V uh, unknown, the Reshiram V, a Guard War trainer gallery, a Jinx trainer gallery, a Flaffy trainer gallery, and the Lugia V Star Gold. Okay, so that went incredibly well. I honestly did not expect to get that many hits. I can't believe what we managed to pull guys but what did you think which one was better the etb the blisters which one would you go out and buy yourself with your own money let me know in the comments down below other than that though thank you so much for watching make sure to tune in on tomorrow night's live stream where we're opening more silver tempers and hopefully the luck continues and we get some massive pulls so make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that alert bell also make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it stay safe see you in the next one peace